Hey guys, welcome back to uh, Lions Den Investments and Reviews. Uh, in today's video, uh, Monday, May 31st, we're going to talk about Theta. And um, we've got 30 days right now till Theta Mainnet 3.0 is launched. Uh, there was actually an announcement that came out earlier uh, from Theta saying that they are still on track to go ahead and launch Theta Mainnet 3.0 uh, with no development issues. Uh, ahead of that. So that's good news. Um, of course, this is old news, by the way, but Theta did get a new validator uh, as of May 27th. Hollywood Powerhouse CAA joins Theta Enterprise Validator Council. Now, if you guys aren't familiar with who CAA is, they're basically, um, you know, one of the, the world's largest uh, talent agencies for sports entertainment movies uh they even you know have got some big wigs in the gaming industry uh that are that are on board with them so basically <laughs> caa guys is pretty much all of hollywood okay uh so that's big news um i don't know there's a lot of rumors going around right now with uh other validator nodes that might join caa right now is the 15th validator node to join the Theta network, which leaves about 14 to 15 positions still open. Um, and the rumor has it that uh, Amazon, you know, making the, the $8.45 billion purchase of MGM Studios uh, would possibly become a validator note as well, uh, being that MGM Studios and all their films, they've got like 17,000 films that are being rolled out uh, through the Theta network, okay? So there's the connection between uh, Amazon, MGM Studios, as possibly being a validator node here in the future. So we'll be looking for that as well. But uh, the reason why I wanted to cover Theta and T-Fuel today is because I told you I was going to show you how to stake T-Fuel. All right, now, the markets as a whole have been, you know, in a serious correction. Uh, we've seen Bitcoin drop over 55% over the last two months, and that brought Theta and T-Fuel down with it. Um, this is not necessarily a bad thing, guys, like I always say, you know, buying the red, uh, because if you understand the technology behind Theta and what it represents, uh, not just in, in live streaming video uh, content, but for instance, you know, with other stuff too, like here on May 13th, Theta Network's enterprise vision for uh, multi-experience development platforms Vendors like SAP and Salesforce have been testing uh, Theta blockchain as well for business use case, okay? So it's got much, much more functionality to the Theta blockchain than just live streaming video. Um, so with that in mind, though, because of the, because of the masses, massive drops in prices uh, for Theta and T-Fuel, now would be a perfect time to go ahead and stake those. Because, you know, as we were just talking about uh, here in 30 days, we got the mainnet 3.0 upgrade, which is going to uh, basically allow you to stake your T-Fuel to earn T-Fuel. So not only can you stake Theta to earn T-Fuel, but now you can stake, or not only can you stake Theta to earn T-Fuel, but now you can stake T-Fuel to earn T-Fuel as well. So it gives you two passive streams of income there. And the cool thing about that is it's, it's almost like a dividend. So when you invest in a stock, right, you get a dividend or a payout, you know, maybe quarterly, every month, every year. And then you can reinvest that in traditional markets and buy up new shares, dollar cost averaging in or dollar cost averaging up, you know, whatever, whatever direction the price goes, uh, you're buying more of that share with basically other people's money, all right? Same holds true with Theta and T-Fuel. When you go ahead and stake those, you're gonna get rewards and the T-Fuel token, regardless of price. So if, if we get another crash, you're, you're gonna be sleeping much better at night knowing that you're getting, <laughs> you're getting new T-Fuel through other people's money, all right, essentially. It's, it's not other people's money, it's, it's just you're becoming a guardian node on the Theta network and you're confirming transactions, and then you get rewards for being part of the consensus algorithm on 
the Theta network. So that's the biggest difference between staking tokens with cryptos and say going with a dividend uh, reinvestment drip program uh, with you know a stock. But that's the biggest difference there. You're still, you know, I call it other people's money because essentially it's not your money uh, that you're having to, you know, go to an exchange and swap for, for a T-Fuel token. You know, you acquire the T-Fuel tokens already preparing up to this mainnet 3.0. You go ahead and stake those and let your T-Fuel work for you. So uh, here's the, if you go to gpool.io, this is the home screen for uh, gpool. And what I'm going to do is take you through uh, staking your theta for passive income. Now, guys, this this only pertains to if you got a theta wallet. Uh, and what I'm going to show you here is how to take your theta and stake it for T fuel from your theta wallet using gpool. Okay. So, what you're going to do is sign up for an account. You're going to go back to gpool.io, click on the home icon. And payouts are every 12 days approximately. Now here's the thing about uh, the rates of payout. So if you're in here, you, get, you click on Theta. Okay, right now, I'm already in my account. But normally what it would do is it would bring you to another, uh, another screen. And you're going to have to sign up. And I'll take you through that here in a minute. But what I wanted to show you was the rate of return. Okay, so if you go to your dashboard... Right now, it says I'm getting paid 4.16 daily T-Fuel, okay? Now, all these rates are approximated and based on pro projected block times, block rewards, and total locked coins, all of which are frequently changing and are not guaranteed, okay? So you need to understand that because, um, you know, you, you're basically joining a pool, all right? And G-Pool is owned by the developers of Theta Labs. So what you're doing essentially is taking your tokens and you're lending them over to Theta Labs and you're you're tapping into the computing resources from the Theta Labs, all right, within their own data centers. So the reason why this is good because it reduces the elect uh, electricity costs um, so that you you aren't going to be charged, f you know, from a computing resource perspective on the electricity that's used within your laptop. This is done for you by Theta Labs. So the cost is on them, not you. So that's that's something to understand when you're staking with gpool, okay? Um, let's go back here though. So payouts are every 12 days approximately. I told you, you know, right now I'm getting, it says I'm getting paid out about 4.16 T-Fuel. And uh, that is on my amount staked, which would be 9032 Not a very good payout, but it, it fluctuates. So, you know, they do this in weeks, okay? So it's every 12 days. So right now it's, it's tracking May 30th through June 12th. The previous session that I was in paid out way higher than this. It was paying out like uh, close to 10 T-Fuel daily, okay? So that's, you know, yearly was this whole number right here was different. And so it's going to fluctuate. So don't, what I'm saying is don't focus all your attention on estimated averages, okay? Because they're going to fluctuate. And these numbers will change here on the next pool that I join as a guardian node. Um, so don't, don't get discouraged if you see that change. So right now, if you go to dashboard, and we scroll down. So today's pool, there's six hours and 28 minutes left. Uh, I'll probably get paid out again after this is finished over here on the, the overview. But so far, our total rewards are 132. And I literally just started this last previous session. Um, I can't remember the exact date that I started, but it was like May, I want to say like May 22nd or something like that. So I'm fairly new to this, and I'm just testing it out to see how it works. So far, though, you know, I've made probably about, depending on where the price is on T-Fuel, just in that time frame, I've made about $45. So it's not too bad, you know. I mean, and again, it's free T-Fuel. So if the price goes up in T-Fuel over time, you know, that, that number is going to increase uh, from $45, you know, depending on 
uh, time frame and the price. So I could go out to the markets and sell it. And who knows, I could, I could, you know, instead of $45 being given to me, it could be like $180 that was given to me. So let's move on to the next screen. After you've signed up for an account, okay, you're, you're going to come to a screen like this and um, actually have to go back, click home. All right. And then click on theta, click on the theta icon. It's going to bring you up to a, a, a screen like this where you sign up for an account. Okay, so you're just going to click sign up. Log in after you've signed up. All right. Now, here's the user interface and the side menu. So home right here, here's what it looks like. Home is going to take you to the overview screen. So if we go back here. It's going to take you to the overview screen, so it looks like this, so you can select your asset. You can see right here, T-Fuel is coming soon. Uh, persistence is another one that gives you a 35% APR. That's annual percentage rate, all right? Um, important to know there. Calculator, uh, this will show you the T-Fuel rewards based on any amount of theta that you stake. Uh, it makes calculations for you so you can see how much you would earn. All right, so let's go back here again, and I'll show you the calculator. Basically, it gives you the average price of theta right now. Uh, for this, you know, 9,032 is what I got staked. Come down here, hit calculate, and it's going to give you the annual, annual percentage rate, okay? So you can use that to your advantage, just to kind of get a rough estimate of what your annual percentage rate is going to be. Uh, then you got profile, okay? This shows your earnings reports and downloads for earnings reports. Uh, you can update personal information, change your avatar, change your password. Um, so we we'll go to profile. You can see right here, you can download all your earnings reports for all the T-Fuel you've earned. It'll put it in a spreadsheet for you at the end of the year so you can file taxes on that. Uh, overview, we've already went over. Shows you the leaderboard, user rank, total delegation, total rewards. Theta staking, this is where you go to become a delegate, stake your theta. Um, there's voting, which is coming soon, so there's nothing available right now. Uh, you got dashboard, which shows estimated averages for rewards based on your theta state. Uh, displays your delegation and where you paste your theta wallet address to claim your delegated address. We'll cover all this moving forward here. Um, there's the calculator, of course. We already covered that. Calculates. You know, your percentage rate, just hit the calculate button down here after you enter your amount. Now, let's go ahead and stake your theta, right? So what you're going to do is click on theta staking inside gpool, okay? Right there, I've got to highlight it. You're going to click the copy button right here when it gives you the guardian node holder summary. And you're going to copy the address for the guardian node holder, okay? So right here, you'll click theta staking, just click copy. Now you're going to go to your Theta wallet and you're going to log in. The reason why I'm doing this on a PDF, guys, instead of showing you live is because I don't want anybody knowing my wallet address for my Theta wallet um, just for security purposes. So I'm showing you this from the PDF version. But you're going to go to your Theta wallet, you're going to log in, and you're going to go to Stakes. Okay. From Stakes, you're going to click on Deposit Stake, and then it's going to ask for... Um, well, it's going to give you two options, validator node or guardian node. You're going to select guardian node. All right. Now, you're going to click continue from inside Theta Wallet after you've, after you've done that. So it's going to look like this screen right here. Um, now you're going to paste the gpool guardian uh, node address to the guardian node holder. So it's going to give you a screen that looks like, like what I'm showing you. The guardian node holder summary, okay, that's the address that we copied from gpool. You're going to enter the amount of theta that you want to stake and you're going to paste that gpool guardian address to the guardian node holder. All right. Now you're going to click on deposit stake after you have the guardian node address pasted and the amount of theta that you want to stake input into both fields. Now, really important to note, when you're first setting this up, you're going to want to stake like when you're staking for the first time, you will have to send 0.0027 T-Fuel to the G-Pool holder address. So to do this, 
first, okay? When, when you do this first, uh, you want to do it from GPool. So, just going over here real quick, if you go to Theta Staking, okay. All right, that's where you go, you copy your address, and then you're gonna come back to, to Theta and go to your dashboard, okay? So we've made it that far, but you'll come over here, and this is your delegated address. This is basically what I'm showing you is how to sync. You're gonna wanna sync your Theta wallet uh, to GPool, so Theta Labs, knows exactly what address to send your rewards to, okay? So when you sync, your address is gonna pop up over here and you're gonna see the first like four or five digits and the last four or five digits of your address. And you'll know it's synced when you see, when you see this under your delegations. You'll also be able to toggle back and forth so it shows you how much you've staked, okay? So what I'm talking about in here is when staking for the first time, you have to send that 0.0027 T fuel to the gpool holder address. So do do this first, then come back and follow the previous steps again, okay? So after you've sent T fuel to the holder address on gpool and sync the wallet, you will not have to do that again in the future when staking a gpool with the Theta wallet, okay? That you just synced. Now if you if you do another Theta wallet besides one you just synced then you'll have to do that whole process again, send 0.0027 T-Fuel to the gpool holder address. And, you know, if you're kind of confused as to what I'm talking about here, when you go to paste it in here and claim your delegated address for the first time, gpool will let you know, hey, send uh, T-Fuel over to this address, okay? And they'll give you an address and you'll just go through that process before you make it too much further uh, to go ahead and deposit stake. Um, but after that, you're going to see something like this, okay? It's going to give you an address, which is that holder guardian node address, and it's going to say withdraw no. It'll give you the amount, okay? So it's going to show up, and it should look like this, with the amount you requested to stake. Now, right-click or copy your Theta Wallet address inside the Theta Wallet, okay? You're going to click on that, go back to gpool, and claim your Theta Wallet address. So that's that's how you're gonna claim your, your Theta Wallet address and send that T-Fuel over, is you're just gonna you know, go back to GPool and claim your Theta Wallet address. So you can either do it before or you can do it after, like what I'm showing you here, after you've decided to, to stake. Um, but that has to be done first, and then you'll get you'll get this right here, and you'll get this popping up right over here under your delegations and dashboard. And that's how you know it's synced, okay? So you're gonna paste your Theta Wallet address to the delegated address. Then again, this syncs your Theta Wallet to gpool, so Theta Labs knows who to send T-Fuel rewards to, like I was saying. Um, and then how do I know when my Theta Wallet has been synced? Well, I just told you, again, go, go to dashboard under your delegations. You'll see the address right there and then you can flip back and forth and toggle it to, to see what is staked, and that's how you know your wallet's synced. And that's it, guys. Um, you know, once you've made it that far, you're now earning passive income on your data. Uh, some important notes, though, you must wait approximately two to three days after you've unstaked your data to get your data tokens to go back into your data wallet balance. So, essentially what you're doing when you're delegating, you're not losing control over your tokens, okay? They're still in your control. All, all that's happening is from Theta Wallet, all right, your balance in Theta Wallet uh, for, for Theta is going to disappear. And it'll go over here to this, this screen like what you see right here and it'll show you the amount that you've staked. But if you go to your wallet, okay, if you go to your wallet section, it's gonna show Theta T Fuel and it's gonna show you the balance and your balance will say like zero. Doesn't mean that your, your Theta tokens are gone, okay? It just means that you're, bar, you're lending them over to Theta Labs, but they're still in your control because they're still in your wallet. But when you go to unstake, it's called an unbonding period. That unbonding period is two to three days. So you just have to wait two or three days for it to cool down and your Theta tokens will reappear in your wallet as part of your balance, it's available to, say, 
you know, liquidate on an exchange. So to unstake your data, simply go into your data wallet and click withdraw stake. You're going to copy and paste your guardian holder address inside data wallet. Okay. Paste, paste that into the field that is requested for unstaking on the next step after clicking on withdraw stake. So when you click withdraw stake, it's going to, it's going to basically walk through that whole process. Okay. Um, when you stake your theta as a delegate, you're letting, again, Theta Labs borrow your tokens so they never leave your wallet. So your Theta tokens are still in your control. But that's pretty much the entire process for you on staking and unstaking Theta. Um, I would imagine T-Fuel is going to have the same process in place uh, when they make that available to all its Theta holders. Uh, but I just wanted to show you that uh, for today's video. And I'll be shooting some more videos here soon. If you like the content, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel helps with the YouTube algorithm. And with that said, guys, you guys have a great day, and I will uh, talk to you here soon.